Oh, my thing glitched out. Hey, weirdo. Hey, weirdo, weirdo. Can you hear me? Yeah. I should say that you're the weirdo yourself. Hey, can uh, you take off the girl? Let's talk face-to-face, man-to-woman, me and you. Take, hmm. off the, take off your partner over there. Take her off. Get rid of everybody. Very well, then. Get rid of her. Go get... Okay, we'll get talk, then. Get rid of everybody. Everybody. Get rid of everybody. It's just you and I. Just you and me. Yes. You there? You know what? You're exactly like I thought you would look. A short little ugly Jew. I know who you are. Okay. Look how you look. You're disgusting. You're disgusting looking human being. Hi, you know who you don't know my name? You don't know who I am? No. You don't know who I am? Hi John. Hi John. Hi John. Hi John. How many times did you say it? No, they don't know you. He's separate and apart from me. His main enemy was there. He's like cheap IPs. You guys don't even use residential proxies. Like me, I have residential proxies. Six hundred dollars a month. I have hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds. Six hundred dollars a month. That's quite a lot of money yeah. just to get on this website. I have hundreds of them. Not just to get on this website. This website is low. No, really. What other websites do you get on? I'm not gonna tell you. I need to work free. Oh, why not? I want to work free. I don't no, need anyone sniffing my stuff. I just think you guys are like a joke. That's what I think. There's people who got me, who better people. Here, you guys are a joke. You know what these weirdos accomplished? They accomplished chasing me. I, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to. Brought speak him into our lap. Like if this, this guy. They brought him into cares. my lap. You brought him right into my lap. Oh wow, this Thank guy. Thank you for your hard work. You freaked them out so much that you brought them all into my lap. Thank you for your work, ugly Jewish guy. Thank hey. you for your work. This isn't over. Not physically, but maybe tomorrow I'm meeting up with a 14 year old. I'm gonna molest the 12 year old girl. John DiCarlo has been seen on Omega as early as the beginning of 2022, mostly hanging around the Trump tags. It's believed that he is located somewhere around New York. He might be in his mid to late 40s, and he isn't here to argue or debate anyone about politics. He specifically chose this tag to traffic underage girls for his sick pleasures. He doesn't show his face and he always gets on as a black screen and sometimes he'll even go as far as putting pictures of his victim with text underneath and other times he would go slander anyone who calls him out. Even if he never provides any tangible proof, he'll even skip anyone that not only calls him out but knows he's losing an argument. Other times he'll call his victims fat and that he was built like a Greek god claiming to be six foot five or say terrible thing he may not be the smartest person around yet he does have a way to lure his victims which is believed that he trafficked as many as 30 or possibly more since he doesn't show himself on camera he also has someone else who is an accomplice and a highly aggressive man who we just nicknamed Pedro a Spanish man who has the appearance of wearing a transformer snapback hat, a bandana, and often wears tank tops to show off his muscles, trying to look and sound like a tough guy, when in reality, he comes off as Connor Vaughn Morger as an incel clone. If anything, both of them has threatened to kill people, molest, and sexually abuse minors in other people's honor, including asking people to meet IRL, despite not following this up, even had previously flaked opportunities to meet up or trade phone numbers. John has also been seen providing a fake docs to confuse people or better yet making them believe that it's him when in reality he is doxing someone else who's innocent or getting people to attack this individual that has nothing to do with his predatory behavior so this is what i have on him so far he was just like he was, he was calling us fat i got evidence too that was him yep yep that is definitely him yeah. that's the guy yeah 
was, was trying, insulting us. I was trying to get details, but he was just insulting but us, so I got mad. Yeah. Of course, of course, he's gonna, he, he does that to everyone on here. That's what they do. Yeah. He asked if we were at school, and then we said, yeah, and then he just started insulting us. So. He called me a d and then, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, these guys are very malicious. Of course, they're going to come up with uh, with insults and whatnot. Yeah, well, I was also, trying to get his snap, but like, I didn't, I didn't know when to ask for it because it was really awkward if I just asked for it. Hmm, yeah. I see. Well, wait. So who are you thought? Yeah. All right. What he do you know about like, him? Stuff like go make me a sandwich. You're I'm gonna. No, because once we talked to him and had a full, like, a full-blown conversation, and he actually said, like, oh, that matters. Because this was before you, like, you warned us about him, so I was like, oh, I'm going to say something. So, and then, so I said, I'm going to rape you. And he said, well, how are you going to rape And we're like, oh, girl. It's like, oh, okay. Like, I guess. And he was like, go make me a sandwich, you piece of Wow. And, and then he said, Pull me, let me say what Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So he pretty much uses that exact same phrase over and over. Yeah. Yes. Bro, hmm. it doesn't think of anything else. Yeah. He probably has like a script or something. I see. And he pretended to be somebody else. And he was pretending that somebody else was exposing his identity. But it was really him just putting it there because it had the same IP address as the other, you know, him. And he was trying to make it to where his name was John, but his actual name isn't John. I just call him John. Hmm. Oh, he's, na he's not actually John DiCarlo. Oh, he's not. No, he was saying he was, but nobody knows that he was the one who was saying it. And then I'm the only person who isn't stupid. Would you know about him apart from him being named John? No. Nothing? I don't know anything about him. I know he's friends with this one guy. He's like, he always wears a tank top and a hat. And he always has like a bandana on as a mask. Oh, I see. That would... Okay, the Spanish guy. Hey, um, when did they meet for the first time? Me and John? Yeah. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Hmm. Is it made this year or last year? It was this year. Okay, I see. And in your own words. Um, I met him about, I want to say three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I spoke to him on and off, because I would come on here all the time. Yep. Um, with my friend Charlotte. Um, he thought I was about 12 or 13. When you're 18, right? You? Um, or 19, even. Yeah, 18. Um, yep. But he thought I was about 12 or 13. He would make constant remarks about my friend Charlotte, about how he was in love with Charlotte. Was she in the room with you? Yeah, but she, he couldn't see her. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, the, the only thing he would ever tell me is how fat I was, like how fat and disgusting and ugly I was. And I don't, like, I genuinely don't care. Like, yeah, it, sure, it's sure, sure. Sure, sure. Um, he would also talk about the fact that he was a psychiatrist um, okay. and that I was too fat to be anorexic and if I was then he would he murder me okay. um, because I was faking it. And but he knows that you have health. an eating disorder? Yes. Did he tell you his name was Sean DiCarlo? Tell me about that. When did you find out what his name was? Um, there was someone else on Omegle on the same night that was showing a picture of him okay. with his workplace details and his full name. And, okay. and I, I matched it up because he told me he was a psychiatrist and where he worked. So I put two and two together and realized that that was yeah. his name. And then he told me that his father owned a big corporation, like a building corporation. So realistically, he told you that he was, you know, he was being all, you know, rude to you and all, you know, harassing you, but he told you his own name, essentially. He didn't show me a picture of what he looked like, somebody else did, but he did tell me where he worked. Um, because at one point, he said that I was free to tell his workplace what he was doing, that he okay. was a paedophile. He's admitted to me that he was a paedophile before it was a joke, or he could get away with it like it was a joke, but he did admit to liking children. 
who was the person who was the person sh telling you about his face and, and was it was it a different voice or i have no idea it was like, okay it was like a simulated screen that just had his details written on it so if you were to match him again um what would happen would it be an instant skip would he skip you would you skip him would you argue again what would happen no, I think he would probably make some dig about the fact that I... Again, the running theme here is that he just tells me I look fat. Yep, I yep. know who it was. I'd probably tell him to fuck off. Another piece of information I have is that there was a girl called Alabama. Okay. That was, that was somehow connected to, to John or whoever he is, who supposedly they were involved with each other and she had gone on the run from him, so he hadn't contacted her in ages. When I okay. said her name to him, um, because somebody else had given me the name, he got incredibly angry. Like, he went from joking around, laughing around, to deadly f***ing serious. So you, you are one of maybe 20 girls he does this to. One of 20. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. Like, that doesn't surprise yeah. me at all. Mm -hmm. And I have seen the other guy who did a very similar gambit of spoke to me for about 10 minutes, attempting to insult me, and I just sat there and was like, okay, this is the thing. I, um... That's wrong the buzz. When I talked about the fact that he's he thought I was twelve or thirteen, me and my friend Charlotte were twelve or thirteen. When I told him I was eighteen, he got really angry and then I and then I was this fat, disgusting bitch. yeah. It, yeah. So basically yesterday, um I was just on here late at night like this, like I always am. Um and there were these two girls and one of them was like fifteen and the other one was thirteen. Like she said, she was 13. Verified she was 13. Right. And John was like, they flashed me their ass and I got a screenshot of, his, of it. And I was like, no, they didn't. Because I had talked to them prior and they were like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy just is like photoshopping pictures of us. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And I was like, you're fing weird. They're minors. So did you have any. Uh interaction with john like one-on-one -on -one conversation yeah um he just pulled me on big feet and thought i was fat and ugly probably because i'm over the age of 18. right uh in, <laughs> do you know the last time you encountered uh john that was like last night that was last probably night. wow so yeah. not too long ago do you remember anything else that he told you, if you can kind of remember? So he said that he made a 4chan post about me, and that he was screen recording me so he could put words over it. To, he was like, he was like, I'm screen recording you so I can make it look like you're saying the n-word and I'm gonna post it on 4chan. And I was like, okay, do it. He didn't link me yet. And did he ever do it? Did. Oh. No, he didn't post it. He didn't screen record it. Like, he's a but <laughs> yeah that, yeah that's that's john already yeah and he'll like yeah and but I'm, i don't know if I'm, i think i think i've heard him say slurs i'm not positive but he'll be like he'll say oh my god your hair your hair's so ugly you're really piercings. what does he kind of sound like if you can kind of like vividly remember oh my god your hair it's just so ugly so ugly. Really? I don't know. One time I was like really drunk, right? And I was on an eagle and I ended up showing my t that guy. I'm not sure if it's that guy, but I encounter him a lot. Like every time on an eagle, I'm like, I encounter him. And it's like with this tag? Um, yeah. Yeah. One time he told me, what are you talking about? I 14 year olds. That's John. That, that's John. That's John. That is him. That is him. That sounds like him, in fact. Does he ever mention like 12 year olds, 14 year olds, minors? Um, I think, I'm not sure. I don't oh, think he's okay. ever written it. No, because after I did show my t he was like, Oh, no. I feel I feel so bad. This feels like my daughter or something like that. So you showed... Just forget about it. So you have showed him your... This before. 
Yeah. And how old are you? I am 14. You would think that a man like him, nobody would want to even associate or even speak to him. However, I did came across an individual that seems to somewhat defending him to some extent, and even tried throwing me off a couple times. So, I'ma play this clip, and afterwards, an encounter I came across. So, this is what she had to say about him. You're fat! Okay, next. Hmm. Okay, next. Wow, is that what you what would you call people there? Cause that's funny, cause that sounds like something that he would say. Are you trying to claim that I'm him? No, I never said that. All I'm saying is that he does. This man doesn't fat call other women fat. What? What if? What if I told you a secret? Okay. What if I told you something? Yes. Okay. I'M JOHN! So you're telling me that you're the one that is spreading all this? Really? Are you mad at me, Dada? I'm- no, I'm not- I'm not mad, I'm just a little shock. I just- I'm having a hard life. I'm having, a, I'm having a really hard time. Look, I, I understand okay. that it's I, been tough on your end. I, I have a question. Yes? What's your question? Can you please show your toes? Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. <laughs> please, Donna! Wow. No, this he's guy. Not, he, he, like... He really has two omegles open, like, they're crazy. I love it! That's the guy who says you're ugly. What? Oh. You're telling me that you really like this guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He said I was cute. There was this one guy earlier that called us fat, and she was like, I love you! So, don't trust her. He didn't put no... Let's throw this yes, camera he did. come off online. No, I have two me, people show me, show in me. my car. Show me. You saw his back. I don't care. I don't care what your people say. I, I don't know what you're defending him. I don't know what you're defending him. I want evidence. Him. You must evidence. get in on it. I don't want words. Well. A picture you must get in on it if you're defending him. Go back to your pedophile. My friend. My, my, my friend is the best. He's a legend. Together. He's the best. My friend is the best. I'm a ride or die. I'm yeah. going to back him up no matter what. He is the best. Yeah, sure. He's the yeah. man. Back, man. 15 year old from You want to see it? I can't put the video on. I should put it on next time. Wait, so you're grooming people still? Oh yeah, still. Until the day I die. Then you come do it. Anyways, I'm going to go find more people to groom. Don't be my competition. Stick with 18 and over. 15 and under, they're mine. Little does he know, we're already on to him. Well, let's I... let's go slowly, okay? Let, let's go in order, let's be linear, okay? So this man, boy, this man, uh, fake Nick was accusing this man of being John DiMaggio slash John DiCarlo. We've just reverse searched, image searched this guy's face, and we found this guy, Nicholas Preston, okay? We've gone on all the different tabs, which we'll go through in a second, and for example, we found this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel belongs to Nicholas Preston. On this channel, on this channel, he has multiple videos of him wrestling uh, as as early as late as the 90s, uh, and also googling Nicholas Preston, Ohio, from Ohio State University, you'll be taken to this page, which is his biography, which is the same pictures. Now, his nickname, short for Nicholas, is Nick. Well, yeah, I think this is him. So Nicholas, and these are the exact same pictures. You see this? Yeah. Yeah, it matches just like the one the guy was accusing. 160 pounds, okay. There has to be some kind of beef going on between the two. He told people he was six foot five. That's that's him in the 90s, isn't it? So Yeah. That's the same picture. That's him now. Yeah, that's definitely more recent. So maybe he was in Ohio and moved to Canada. He moved from Ohio to Canada, maybe? Hmm. I doubt that. That's a big change. Yeah, well, that's... He was last wrestling in 05, I mean... Yeah, that's the problem with some of these social media sites. No, but if, if he's college... He graduated he's, in 97, he's, kind of. Did he graduate OSU what? in 97? He was state champion in 97. Wait, 99, he was a freshman. 
So he was 18 in 99. So go from there. So it's 2000. Like, he's 18. Freshman in college he's, or freshman in high school? So he's what, 39? Well, if he's, if it's NCAA, that means he's a college, he's a, he was a college freshman. So he's 18 or 19 yeah. in 99. 19. Where's the, U the, the USA wrestler? Because he, he represented America in the 06 and 05 Olympics. Exactly. So I don't think he would move to Canada if he was an Olympic wrestler. So what if his wife is Canadian? Mm, possible. Uh, he was reprimanded turning his behavior. So he got a warning or something in, in 05. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. It might be the location they were wrestling at, yeah club that he's that he's okay so he you know even if right how'd you go mm -hmm. from the italian guy i mean because oh mate same guy oh yeah zoom info look at that Two, all signature. right yep that's that's the that's picture. him like 10 years later that, 10 years that's later. the that's the picture that's him now yeah, 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 that's yeah. what i was trying to see all right but we got that's a, in no. yep it's that picture yeah Put it. yeah huh. so he's using pictures of the same person Yep, yep, that's the same website that uh, I just found. Do we think he's in the, do we think he's in uh I guess if we're gonna get any any kind of info, we're gonna have to try to yeah, contact I think this to, guy I think without scaring him. Oh, he, look, he's, he's worked he, he's worked at like colleges and assistant coaches. Yeah. Um, SVD Stallions, uh, St. Francis High School. So this guy could have been a pedophile, could link his like Schweider suits, and then Nick found out about him and started blackmailing him. For this clip, during a sting operation, where he doesn't know that he's being recorded, what you're about to hear may be disturbing. So, this is what he would say to a supposedly 16-year-old girl about what will he do, including a conversation about a missing victim that might have took in her own life in the state of Alabama. Hey, do you want to see a picture of, a uh, thing of, uh, Alabama? Yes. If you want to show a yeah, picture. No, but your boy, the bearded guy, has lots of pictures of her. What bearded guy? You know who I'm talking about. Don't play this game. You said you were hey, looking for him yesterday. He asked to show a picture, and then didn't. No, obviously... The forest, how big it is? No, not like, not like in... Not in the park, I just mean like... Research stuff that's about her or something. Side. Look, 813. Yeah. Pages. That's it. Okay. This one is 830,000 acres. Wait, do you do you remember what it's called? Of course, I remember what it's called. I've been. There. Can I look I it up? It's called. It's called Bankhead National Forest. That's where she wanted to die. I feel like 830,000 acres is a lot. It's massive. I believe it's around A30. It might not be the exact number, but it's, and we'll presume that you're 16 years old. We'll play that game that you're 16. If you had to kill yourself, how would you do it? I'm very terrified of dying, so I would not. Well, then you'd use pills because you're terrified. No. I would probably, if I even tried doing that, I would puke them up. Because I would be terrified of what I had done. No, if you take Xanax and Percocet, Xanax will put you to sleep and Percocet will kill you. Well, I wouldn't do that to myself. I don't do drugs. You know how? You know what a hot? You know what a hot shot is? I've heard of it. Sodium chloride, Xanax, and Percocet. Right. That's how I would. Do. Are you like? Whatever. Are you after someone? Like. <laughs> Like, do you hold a grudge no, on someone? Have you been doing your research? <laughs> no, I'm a medical doctor, so I don't have to... You Fair know, enough. So chloride does? It's definitely very poisonous. Or toxic. I don't know the difference between the two. It slows your heartbeat. Hey. But not to the level that you'll die. So that's where the Xanax and Percocet come from. Fair enough. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a quick death. It's a painless death. So if okay. I someone, that's the way I do it. So if you ever want to die in the future, it's sort of hard. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be sure to let you know. But uh, I'm gonna keep going.
So this is how much we have on him so far. And I'm sure this isn't the only thing that's gonna come out of this. For whatever evidence that's been gathered, it has been sent to the proper authorities as they are investigating into this case. So the most we can do for now is to wait and to let the authorities take it from here with just the evidence demonstrated here. I don't think this is it as I'm sure there is a lot more going on that I have yet to include in this video. So in other words, this is just an introduction on who this man is and to bring light to the sort of things he has done to his victims. So if you do come across him, whatever you do, do not provide him any means for him to go after you or even to contact or better yet, using whatever you have uploaded on any of your websites to be used against you in order to slander you. Even if he lies about it, slandering your name, much like what he did to the number of people he has accused of. So the next time you come across a black screen, you're better off just skipping because you'll never know if it could be him before it is too late. So use at your own risk. This wouldn't have been possible without the help of the people from the fudge factory and those who came forth to volunteer and even provide the evidence on Omega. Till then, this is LR7 talking about John DiCarlo and his accomplice and logging out. Oh, by any chance you've seen a guy with uh with in his mouth? By any yeah. chance? Everybody was talking about him yesterday. I know who you are. Why are you scared to talk?